Hey, Daily Dosers, question for you. Have you noticed that people rarely get lost today? I mean, when I was a kid, uh, we'd go on vacation, we'd call AAA, we'd say, send us the maps, give us the route, and we'd have maps all over and, and never fail. We would get lost. We'd be looking at the maps, trying to figure out where we're going. The roads had changed since the maps were made, or maybe there was road construction. We had to figure out a detour. Today, what do you do when you're traveling? You just plug it into MapQuest, you plug it into your GPS, you plug it into Google Maps, you never get lost. People don't get lost anymore. And so here's my fear. The passage we're going to look at today, my fear is that because we don't get lost anymore, this passage is going to lose its punch. It's going to lose its meaning because we don't get what it's like to be truly lost anymore. We're looking today at Luke chapter 15. And in Luke chapter 15, we get three stories of things that are lost, that are lost. The first story is about a lost sheep. There's a shepherd. He's got 99 sheep that he knows where they're at, but one, one, the hundredth one goes wandering off. He leaves all the 99, goes after that one sheep, and then he carries it back on his shoulders. The second story in Luke chapter 15 is about a lost coin. There's a woman, Jesus says, who, who's got 10 silver coins. She can't find one of them. And so what does she do? She turns her house upside down. She does whatever it takes to find that one coin. And then when she finds it, she calls all her friends over and says, we're going to celebrate. Huh? The last story in Luke chapter 15 is about a lost son. A lost son. We call that story the story of the prodigal son. The son looks at his dad and says, dad, I want my inheritance now before you are dead. And for whatever reason, the father gives him his inheritance. And that son, you maybe know the story. He goes off, he squanders it all. He, he parties like a rock star. He loses all his money. And that's when he comes walking back to his father with his tail between his legs. What does the father do? Well, the father, he should have said, son, too bad. You messed up. But the father just opens his arms and says, son, you were lost and now you're found. He throws a party when his son comes home. You see, each of these stories in Luke chapter 15, each of them are about lost things, about a lost sheep, a lost coin, and a lost son. And what's interesting about these stories is that they, they sort of grow in increasing value. The first is a sheep, a stubborn owned sheep. The second one is a silver coin, a little more valuable. But the last is a son. And if you're a mother or a father, you know the value of a child. You see, I think Jesus increases the value over these stories so that we would know that these lost things, they represent you and me when we're lost. Now, here's what I fear. I fear that we don't know anymore what it's like to really be lost, to be out in the dark, to be somewhere where you're not sure where to go and the sun is setting and you are anxious. We don't know what it's like to be physically lost, but here's what I'm quite certain. Every one of us knows what it like, it's like to feel lost. We not know, not know what it's like to be physically lost, but we know what it's like to feel lost as a parent, man, I wish kids came with an instruction manual. When our lives get busy, or maybe you've had one of those moments where, where you, you contemplate, what's my purpose in life? You retired and, and you left a career behind. Or, or maybe when your kids struggle, your grandkids struggle, your parents struggle. Or maybe you got that oncology report or your marriage is on the rocks. Or maybe you have to admit you're at a stage in life or you can't do what you used to do. Friends, we may not know what it's like to be physically lost anymore, but we sure know what it's like to feel lost in life. At the end of the story of the prodigal son, there's an there's a older son who's stayed by his father's side the whole time when this young son went off and squandered everything. And that older son, he gets jealous. He's jealous. Dad, I've been here the whole time. That son of yours, he chose to be lost. But that father, he looks at his son and it's fascinating to hear what he says to the older son. I think these are words that God wants to say to people like you and me when we feel lost. He says, my son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But 
we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive. He was lost and he is now found. You see, I think that's the way God celebrates. Celebrates when we realize something. That though we may feel lost, we're never actually truly lost. That we have a God who promises to be with us every step of the way. You see, friends, you have a God who wants you to know in those moments when you feel lost, when you're not sure of your purpose, when you're not sure which way to turn as a parent, when you get that health report that's not good, when your health forces you to to admit that you can't do what you used to do, when your marriage is on the rocks, when you feel lost, here's what God wants you to know, that you're never really lost. And God celebrates when you realize that, that you have a God who's with you every step of the way. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in to The Daily Dose today. Like us if you're watching on Facebook. Hit the bell so you get notifications on YouTube. And if you're watching on Cable Access 181, invite a friend to watch with you. Have a great one.